Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Kevin. That was an amazing snapshot. So you can see there's a lot of products to choose from. Um, and Kevin's explained how they impact your quality of life differently, but they work together. Uh, so get back to the person who invited you. There's lots more information, of course, but we asked Kevin to give us a snapshot. He's uh, the first practitioner actually of Vox Life, and he comes on to give you a snapshot. So you have an overview. Um, but you can certainly dig in deeper and learn more about them uh, with the person who invited you. But now we're going to move on to stories because we always say the most important thing is how it impacts your quality of life, right? And these this show is called Real People, Real Results because we're real people. We're regular people who have had our lives impacted. Um, and we're so happy tonight to have two guests with us. We're going to call on Greg first. And uh, we're going to have a little chit chat and learn how Greg's life has changed. Hey, Greg. <laughs> good evening. It's nice to see you. How are you doing? Pretty good, thanks. How about yourself? Good. I'm good, thank you. So tell us, Greg, how did you find Vox Life? Or what was it that made you decide to try it out? Uh, mostly, initially, it was just, uh, well, my upline now, my friend that I've known for, I don't know, five, at least five years anyways, uh, Tracy Lalonde was was selling the product. And and a lot of it, honestly, at first was it sounded, you know, it sounded like, okay, things are going to get better if I wear these socks. It's just kind of skeptical, right? But I thought, well, she's my friend. I'll support her business and I'll give it a try, right? So I bought uh, three pairs and I thought, well, if these things work as well as they say they will, then I, you know, I already am thinking about sharing it out. So I bought three pairs and gave away two. So <laughs> I got one left. <laughs> didn't get a whole, didn't get a whole lot out of it. Um, that's how I got introduced to the product. Um, and then what was it? Oh, let's see. I, oh, actually it was when COVID, all the, all the uh, COVID stuff started. Um, I was off work for a while and I started really digging into the technology and that's when I really got interested in it. And that's when I started wearing it daily at that point. But uh, initially it was through my connection to, to Tracy, who is now my upline, as well as a friend. Amazing. That seems to be uh, a very popular path that people come in. They just, you know, it seems so, so hard to believe, but their friends telling them it's, it's a thing. So they're trying it out, yeah. open to opportunities, right? So yep. what happened? How, how has it impacted your quality of life? Or has it impacted your quality of life? Oh, definitely. Um, and it's one of the things that I, I, I didn't really, everything with me was rather gradual. I know we've had a lot of people on here who've had the, the, the big wow moment, right? And for me, it was all very gradual stuff. Um, in fact, I, I was wearing it and, and everything was so gradual that I didn't really notice it until I went for a QEEG brain mapping with Dr. Sylvia. And I had to go for a few days without the tech. And then I'm just like, oh my gosh, you know, third, I, I think I recorded 13 things uh, that sort of regressed without the technology on. Um, so, I mean, over the course of over the course of the, the the first few months wearing the technology, you know, like I got walk. And I was when I was off off work early last year, it was uh, you couldn't go anywhere. So I was walking around the block, doing about nine kilometers a day. And you know, my, my my ankles weren't bothering me, my knees weren't bothering me, my upper legs weren't bothering me. No more sciatica. My hips were feeling better, better posture my neck and shoulders weren't bothering me. And that's just from wearing the socks. Um, uh, I'm borderline asthmatic. And I noticed over time, the asthma is still there, but it's a lot less than it, than it was before my breathing's actually getting better. Um, and then even with the sleep, um, you know, I'm finding now as long as I get seven hours a night, I'm noticing that I'm getting to the dream state, which I never used to get to before. And I'm actually remembering some of them too on occasion, but um, you know, so it's been, it was a, a gradual, a gradual change. And now, as I was saying before, you know, I'm turning 61 and a lot of people are noticing that they, uh, yes! they've been yes! distracted by that. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, Greg. Thank you. 61 today, but I, I honestly feel better now than I did when I was 40. Really? Oh yeah, the aches and pains are are, are less, and I, I'm still doing the same job. I'm still sitting for a living, All right? So there's there, there's a lot that comes with that. That's where the sciatica comes from, is from sitting in behind the wheel of a bus for eight hours a day, <clears throat> and uh, so the fact that that's gone is making work a whole lot simpler, a whole lot nicer. 
Um, so yeah, it's been, like I said, it's been, it, but it was a gradual, it was a gradual thing for me that I didn't really notice until I went for the brain mapping and it was like, whoa, okay. So, so taking it away was where you noticed the big impact. Yeah. Yeah. Once, once it was gone, it was like, everything went back to where I would be if I wasn't wearing the tech. It was like, okay, I got to have this on 24 <laughs> seven. So interesting that you say that that was my experience too. Things very, very gradually, um, went away and kind of dawned on me like, oh, like I haven't noticed that I haven't dealt with that in a long time um mm-hmm. yeah. and do you do you know do you find yourself now talking to people saying you know like write a list and, and just see what changes because so many things have changed for you yeah and, and, and actually I missed a couple I just realized as you were talking and I saw your sleeve I remember yeah same sort of deal right I'm, I've got tinnitus so between the HPT and the CBT the tinnitus is basically most of the time occasionally it'll be up a little bit on a given day, but most of the time, basically it's gone from about an eight to about a two in terms of how it affects me out of 10. But um, yeah, that's what I've, I've tried to do with people in the past. It's like, you know, not everybody is going to have, like I said before, the big wow moment. So it's just like, yeah, keep track of how you're feeling now, where the products for, you know, a few days, a couple of weeks, if you've got 30 days, right. So you wear it for, you know, three weeks, and see along the way how you're doing, how you know where where are things better because everybody's different. Everybody's going to experience something, but who knows what, right? So, uh, yeah, it's it it, it almost it, it almost is a point where you really need to um, you need to keep track of it unless you're one of the people that are for you know you know have chronic pain and feel an immediate change. But for most, I think for a lot of people, yeah, it, it, it you need to keep track of it. Really to feel the impact so cool so greg so imagine you've been with fox a, a year almost See, a year almost a year it'll be a year at the end of next month <laughs> that's awesome that's awesome so what would you say to somebody say there's somebody that's they've tried the tech and they they you know they've had their moment where they're like okay this is helping me maybe a lot maybe a little um and i could see it's helping other people i wonder if i could manage this as taking it on as something else to to have in my life with sharing it as a business or um casually with my friends and family what would you say to them what kind of advice would you give them uh do it uh (laughs) um i mean i have the the last year um some of the things that have happened over the last year first off getting involved with the company i mean i was already really good friends with tracy so that helped but uh you know the 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 one thing i've learned over the last year is the community environment that we have here even though you know uh i'm i'm not in the same sort of the same same group or the same downline as somebody or you know somebody who's upline from me but is not directly directly there is still willing to help you know the, the the company culture here is is phenomenal um that's a big one for me because i've seen I, i've seen seen places where it's not quite like that um i mean i keep thinking of what uh uh sir richard branson says right I, and this is a probably a bad paraphrase but it's if it's somebody offers you an opportunity and you don't know how to do it just take it and learn how to do it um that's what i'm doing and and the last year for me has been um well starting with the qeg brain mapping and then doing the um doing a presentation with that with 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 kevin to our team online and getting back into public speaking and then from there going to uh the 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 mastermind course with jay last year and winning the storytelling contest um you know which was a big deal um doing a presentation at the last uh summit and was what what was on there 500 people it's like that's right. You know, uh, and now the now the book project that I've been part of, which is not a Vox thing, but the, that's that's all that is stuff that has all happened because of my connections to to Vox and the people in this in this community, and the business comes along with it. I feel like from a monetary perspective, I've made more in the last year with this company than I made in the previous seven eight years with other companies. Wow. That's combined. Impressive. Combined. <laughs> oh, okay yeah that's good to know yeah well, it's interesting isn't it because it's it's there's no competition with no. box we, we are the people that have the wearable neurotech that will help you with your quality of life so mm-hmm. i'm your person i'll help you you don't you know people yeah. don't have to go shop looking for 
for a million other things uh, or try a million different things. Greg, thanks yep. so much for being here. Thanks for sharing your birthday time with us. Happy birthday, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my pleasure. Thanks. We're thrilled to have you here and uh, we appreciate the share. Thanks. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Amazing. And my dear Shalita, how are you? You should be able to unmute. How are you? Good. Thank you. Good. It's nice to have you here. It's great to be here. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. So we want to hear your story. I haven't heard your story yet. So I'm very excited. We haven't met yet. This is the thing. We, you meet all these like-minded people and you, and you eventually uh, you get to form bonds. As Greg said, we have this amazing culture here. And I love it when I get to come face to face with people I haven't had a chance to meet yet. So it's very nice to meet you. It's very nice to meet you too. <laughs> Tell me, how did you find Box? Or did it find you? What was the turning point to decide to try it? Well, I kind of got in a group on Facebook with a friend. And um, she was talking about this neurotech. And we have been friends for years. She had seen me in some pretty bad moments. I was diagnosed with a stress-related um, mental illness back in 2011. And... Um, she had been with me through a lot of that. And so um, she had made suggestions prior to for different things that had worked that had um, helped in certain areas. And um, those things were actually making me very tired, though, lethargic. I still couldn't think um, clearly, didn't have a lot of energy. And she says, well, Shalitha, I have the uh, I have a perfect solution for you. And I was like, really? It's it's a pattern. Is it really going to work like this? Come on now. <laughs> I'm glad it worked for you, but so she sent me a couple of patches. Um, I didn't listen and I didn't wear them every day and they didn't work. Go figure, right? Got to listen. <laughs> And um, I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and buy a pair of the HPT socks and what do I have to lose? Socks last me forever. And so I was like, okay, I'll do it. So I started feeling a difference. I was like, okay, uh, all right, I see this. And so I reached, I reached back out to her and I was like, hey, um, what is this CBT technology, um, cognitive boost technology? Tell me about it. So um, she told me about it. I ordered a sleeve, several more pairs of socks. And um, there you go. Now I wear it every day. <laughs> That's awesome. It makes a big difference, doesn't it? I, it does. Yeah, yeah. I found uh, for anxiety for me too. It's amazing. Um, so how's life now? Well, um, I used to still have my really bad days. And whenever I would get down, it would take two to three days because um, I have my really high time and I don't want to use too many medical terms but um, I have the high stress and anxiety and then I'll crash and um, it takes several days for me to get back to feeling okay and I've noticed that I don't have those days nearly as much with the um, cognitive boost technology and then I was so, so excited about Boomi. I was like, oh my gosh, I've got to have these, okay. And um, uh, I, I did. I bought three pairs of socks right away. I knew that Canada had run out of the socks. So I was like, mm, I'm going to get me some extra, you know, and just made sure that that was all taken care of. And um, I was down a couple of days ago. And well, I say a couple of days, I'm a time liar. Sorry, it was probably a week or two ago. But um, <laughs> I was down, I had gotten up, I was in a bad way, I put on the boomy socks. And I'm not going to say it was immediate. But within the next four or five hours, I was back up. I was feeling good. I was feeling nice. I was positive again. And that's huge for me. That was just like a huge like, moment so I bet you were a frontline worker right for 10 years before you started in the wellness industry I was I was in law enforcement as a matter of fact for 10 years um before I started in the wellness industry and I'm a manager of a shop now for health and wellness 
so you see a lot of, of products, I'm sure, products and tools, um, and you would have been looking for them for yourself, of course. Yes. Um, so, so say there's somebody now that's, they've tried the products, they've had some kind of experience and some people, as Greg was saying, you know, some people have these massive wow moments and some people don't, they just, you know, slowly start to feel better and then they kind of realize. So wherever people are, um, and with your knowledge of all the other things that are out there, what would you say to somebody that's, you know, looking at this, they're thinking, you know, it's 60 bucks for a membership. Maybe I want to try this out as a business. Um, I don't know what, 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 what advice would you have for them? I would say, first of all, do the 60 bucks. I mean, you're going to fall in love with this tech and you're going to want to buy more. So whenever you can get it at a discounted rate, win-win. Um, and be patient with people because you're excited about it, of course, because it's worked for you and, you know, you've had some great experiences, but be be patient, be kind with people because they're not going to see your, they're not going to know your excitement until they actually try the product. And if they do try the product and they're like, this ain't affecting me, because most people don't write stuff down. You can tell them all day long, write journal, you know, tell them, you know what, wear this tech as much as you can in the beginning and then take it off for three days. <laughs> and see because the absence of pain the absence of something doesn't always get you it's whenever it comes back so that is so true and such critical advice if you're new to box life if you're thinking about starting this out it's it is critical advice to be patient with people be patient, be patient, be patient. I was having a joke, uh, a laugh with some of my teammates the other day. And I said to them, you know, when I first introduced you to this, did you wear it every day for the first 30 days? And they're all going, oh, oh, no, it wasn't until. And I said, yeah, see, so be patient with your customers too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> such good advice. Thank you so much for being here to share with us. We appreciate you and, um, and your service. And we're glad that you're feeling better too. Thank you so much. Thanks, my dear. Kevin. What do you think? Awesome story. No, you know, Krista, it's always amazing. I mean, I look at, you know, we, we meet new people like, well, like Shalithia, I haven't met, I've met Napper and the bunch of us on this call, but you know, the one thing I learned with this journey with the tech is when you, when we start with people, right? We always started with HPT and the beauty with this tech was that we knew that the effect on the brainstem was always instant which gave people hope like what just happened and then the other parts the other technology that jay has created and invented realized from the late great doctor working it's called working on your wellness so it's going to take time and it, it took us sometimes it, it took us time to get where we are and i you know i look back at rehab with an athlete where you know and i, I talked with this the other night where you can have an injury and it's instant and surgery doesn't take much time, but the rehab can take months for rehab to over a simple thing. And sometimes we think that we're just gonna snap our fingers, gonna go away. Well, we do have that tech with HPT, with the balance and demo, but the other stuff like Shalithi and Greg, it's, it's a journey. And it's like where I am at right now, I'm not in a great place because we all know our bodies and it's like, if you can get me anywhere close to what I'm seeing, Kev, I'll take any of that right now because right now I know where my QOL is going, quality of life. I know where it's going. All right. And and thankfully, Greg and, you know, wisdom from, from coaching and people, a friend, it's always a friend. Eh? He's like my friend on Facebook, uh, my friend that I knew. And I knew, and I said, she, she's got to be telling me that she can't be making this up. She's my friend. And I said, listen, this is what happened to you, Kev? Yeah, man, this is what happened to me. Oh my God. I love some of that. Well, you're only going to be able to get it if you wear it. If you don't wear it, it's not going to happen. You can think all you want, but it's like, you got to put the tech on the bodies, just like Shalithia, just like Greg. You know what? I'm going to be compliant. I'm going to follow the recipe. Here's the recipe for success. See what happens. You have everything to gain. Oh yeah, Kev. I, so, I, I, I'll, I'll listen to you, coach. <laughs> okay, Paul, the coach. And all of us on this call and others that keep coming in go, you know what? 
that's that's what it, Kev. Let me tell you where I'm at now. It's just like in rehab. I got to get you better. Got to get you better. You're staying where you are and working. You're not going to be able to get back in the, back in the game. No, you know, right, Kev? So we got to move you forward. So thankfully, Greg and Shalithia and all of us on this call all have our own story. It's all powerful. And then the way it went. So it's always an amazing, like mind-blowing stories with people. And just, I can't believe what happened to that guy. Can't believe what happened to that girl. But now they're in a better place to do what they love to do. So Greg's a better bus driver. Greg doesn't snap at people getting on and the bus. And an author, you know, and uh, an author. I'm good. Too. I'm good. You know, you know? And I mean, how much he's grown. Public speaking, the, writing books, and then Shalithia, what she's doing. Right. And the, tr the ripple effect of that, right? Like the think of the, the kids that Greg's coming into contact right. with. He's feeling better. They're going to feel that from him. It's just... It just ripples out. It, it helps uh, everybody that you come into contact with because as we all know, pain is debilitating. It robs you of your quality of life. It just does. Um, well, Chris, I was on a call with a doc today and I said, listen, doc, pain is the great equalizer. It doesn't matter how much you make or how little you make. It's, it's there. And Greg said, it took me from an eight to a two. You know, in all these different terms that we use, says, you know what? It took care. It took care of a problem that I had, or an inconvenience, as we use, right? It changed something for the better, and because pain, I've been in that world. Pain, pain doesn't doesn't matter where you are. It affects all of us uniquely, because it's our body that we have to live in and live with, and to have this tech to help us um, on our own wellness journey, along with other stuff, obviously. It's a tool, but it's a very powerful tool. Why? Because it works on the most important system in the body, which is your nervous system. Exactly. Now watch what happens. It's amazing. So true. Amazing. Well, everybody, as you can see, we've had another two more great stories. Um, and we're not saying that this is a silver bullet, right? We're not saying that this is going to treat anything that you have or cure anything that you have. That's not what we're saying at all. But as Kevin just pointed out, it's a tool. So you add the tool to your toolkit. You do... The things that you need to do that are beneficial to your health and wellness and see what happens what this is doing what this technology is doing it's putting you at your optimum for all of those other beneficial things to impact your quality of life substantially so get back to the person who invited you to this uh, you can watch it again in vox life testimonials right now if you want get back to the person who invited you and get enough of this product if you haven't tried it yet get enough to wear it from laundry day to laundry day and do your own self-assessment you know, you might be a person that feels something right away. You might be a person that are gradually over the month, maybe something people say to us all the time. I'm not sure if it's the socks and that's totally fine. Um, but wear it, wear it constantly because we cannot impress upon you enough how it does not work. If it's in the drawer, it just doesn't or the laundry or the floor or wherever it has to be on your body. It works through touch. It has to have that connection with your body to impact your quality of life. We want you to get back to us. We want you to tell us how it's helping you. Maybe you'll be a guest and you'll want to share your story here. We would love to have you. Um, and if you've already had your experience with the tech and you already see that it's helping with your quality of life and you want to join us, we are on a mission to help a billion people and the more the merrier. We want you to be along on this ride. We have lots of people here to help you and support you. We're one team and uh, come along. It's a lot of fun. Right, Kev? You got that right. One team. That's right. It's a great team. <laughs> it is. We're very, very, very lucky. Very blessed. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Kevin and I will be back in two weeks with another Real People, Real Results. Take care of each other. Good night.